Good morning, everyone. My name is Erica. Welcome to the 2024, the first episode of 2024 in Aurora Heart Healing. I am so happy that you all joined me. Today, I want to talk about the importance of energy healing and healing in general. I am very much so a strong advocate for seeking counsel. One thing that I really, really feel strongly is that seeking counsel is important because we ourselves sometimes do not see how we can be harming ourselves, sabotaging ourselves, really being of detriment. We grew up with ourselves. So the limiting beliefs that we have are actually normal beliefs. That we really, it, a belief is a belief. We believe in it. We take it as our truth and the truth of the reality around us in the world. As I say that, I think what the limiting beliefs were that I had in my life. There was one limiting belief that all men cheat. I hear it time and time again. Women just berating men because all men cheat. And I was one of them too. I used to think that is a truth. That is so true. Actually, now that I'm in a monogamous relationship and I know and I trust my husband, not all men cheat. Not all men are out there to hurt you. But there have been deeply ingrained beliefs either from your mom, your grandma, your mom, your dad, your family from your dad's side, your family from your mom's side, uh, step parents, whatever the case may be, those people instilled the belief that all men cheat. That's not the case. And those men out there that are faithful and monogamous, thank you so much for being the example and that no, it's not true. They don't. What we believe, we see it everywhere around us, every single day. And why it is so important to do your energy healing work is because of that. Because it is so important to start to learn and see what your patterns are that are actually holding you back from the life that you may not even know that you can live. Being a person that was battered and abused in a couple of my relationships, I actually thought that that was a normal thing. I thought that abuse was something that just came with the territory of relationships. I was pretty, pretty fooled. In that sense because I had grown up with that I saw it and I took it in as my truth it wasn't until other people started pointing out that that actually wasn't okay that I started to see why and trust me in the beginning there was some resistance to that no this is the way life is this is normal unfortunately no it's not normal <laughs> And those of us that do think it is normal, it's because we've been conditioned to think it's normal. So as I grew and as I've learned and as I've healed, I've understood more and more and more how energy healing really does help us. It affects us in so many different ways. One of the underlying emotions that constantly come up for me in my healing journey is feeling worthless. My value as a person, I question a lot. Sometimes I question more than I'm comfortable with. I've gotten way better at it, but it is a practice. We are rewiring the little pathways that were created as children. That thought that all men cheat, well, 
where did that come from? What limiting belief made me believe that? And as I looked in my past, I remember little messages of, make sure you look pretty. Men don't like ugly women. Uh, another one was, men only want you for one thing. And as a little kid, I my ideas ran wild with me. What is the one thing that men only want me for? As I got older, there was more specifics thrown out. And it made me really understand that that's all men wanted me for. I wasn't valuable aside from my physical looks. My internal soul, who I am, my humor, my kindness, my fiercity, my passions, all were secondary to what I looked like. One of my favorite stories is, this is a personal experience, was when I was a younger in my 20s, I had a really beautiful friend, like everyone wanted her. And we went out and we were just at a club and there was a gentleman that was very handsome and we'll say not beautiful. His woman was not beautiful. I thought she was really gorgeous. She had the kindest heart. She had a really sweet smile, but I could just tell that there was something about her that he had been so attracted to her by the society standards, he shouldn't have been with her. But I respected it and I watched it and I was just like, wow, this is so such a beautiful couple. Well, my gorgeous model friend goes up to him and she's like, she tells me before she does, she says, watch, he's going to leave with me tonight. And I'm like, okay, let's... I don't, I don't believe in that. I don't think that that's okay, but do whatever you're going to do. So she goes and she approaches this guy and I just watch in awe as he totally shuts her down. And his girlfriend is just standing there. Girlfriend or wife is just standing there and she is unfazed by this. And I saw something that I hadn't seen in this beautiful friend of mine before. It was insecurity. Insecurity. Because how can someone like that get someone like him and I'm single? How? Why? Mm -mm. I'm going to prove this wrong. And as I watched, I was just in awe. First of all, of the man, because in my mind, Men only want you for one thing. And that time, that was very deeply ingrained in me. And energy healing, healing in general, shows us how our lim limiting beliefs are actually hurting us. So I watched that show, that little scene, and I see it so vividly even today because he was respectful but he kindly said, no, thank you. I have the woman of my dreams right next to me. The woman of his dreams stood there in confidence and security of, you can say what you want, you can do what you want, but I am secure in myself and I know my worth. And my model-like friend came back with that insecurity showing of why is it that he didn't pick me? Why is it that people aren't picking me? And I saw that resentment, that insecurity. And then for a split second, I thought, she thinks like me, that I am worthless, that she is worthless. And that moment I just saw it and I was in awe of myself for noticing it because I had been going to therapy and I was trying to figure out why it was that I was constantly settling for less. It was amazing. And I hope that you find a little bit of delight in that because our beliefs 
really do shape our reality. My belief that men only want you for one thing dictated that that man was going to leave his socially less than beautiful woman. But they saw past what society tells us to feel. They saw what their hearts and their souls told them to feel. And that was love. Unconditional love for each other and unconditional love for themselves. Because as I look and as I see, a beautiful woman on your arm does not equal happiness. Actually, a lot of times it means the contrary. Because someone is giving up of themselves something genuine that they want inside of them to fit an, a preconceived notion. So today, the reason why I wanted to talk about that story is because what is it that you are holding yourself back from through beliefs? What beliefs are making you feel like you can't accomplish a goal? One of the beliefs that I thought about a lot younger was why I kept finding myself in these relationships that were less than pleasurable for me. And as I took out and picked apart these beliefs of I'm not good enough, be beautiful on the outside because the inside doesn't matter. And then when I was given the opposite message of cultivate your inside because your outside is not pretty, I started to really see how these damaging, limiting beliefs really affected my reality. So today, my challenge to you is to heal. Heal. Go and seek counsel. Schedule your session today. Find the reasons why you feel heavy inside. If you are sleeping more and more at each day, if you find yourself crying constantly or never crying at all, there is an imbalance there. Help find your center. Your center is where you shine the most, where you flourish, where you say, I feel good. And as a human being, you may not always feel everything is perfect in your life, but the more that you feel healed, the more and more things feel like they go right over going wrong. If I were to count how many bad days I've had in the past few months, I can probably put them in my hand. How many of you are actually saying, more often than not, I am having a bad day than a good one? Those beliefs are attracting your reality and your reality becomes, I am having a bad day. Let's work together to make more good days, not just for you, but for your children, for your spouse, because the more that we heal within ourselves, the more the world around us heals as well. You are a catalyst to change. You are the catalyst to change. I hope that today you take this challenge and you say, I'm going to do better. Instead of investing in things, materials, I'm going to invest in what really matters. My thoughts, and what I feel. Our hearts carry what it is that we believe in ourselves and our minds, our thoughts dictate it as well. Let's change the narrative and let's live our happiest and best lives. Thank you and I will see you again soon.